What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video from the Nights of War. So yesterday I made a top 10 HHN facade video. Today we're going to talk about my top 10 HHN mazes. Now it's going to be updated, like I said yesterday, for 2018's event because I went uh, last Saturday as of this recording and it was awesome. So I want to update you with what my some of my favorite mazes were at the event for 2018 and some of my mazes that were at the event in previous years. Starting off the list with number 10 is going to be Saw, the Games of Jigsaw, which happened last year at 2017's event. It was just a phenomenal maze to see a lot of the iconic kills from the Saw franchise come to life. And they also introduced a lot of the iconic kills that you see in the new Jigsaw film. So that was really cool to see. And you got to walk around and hear the Jigsaw voice. You got to see, like I said, a lot of the iconic kills, the, uh, the pig uh, face killer, and of course some of the iconic killers like Amanda and all that. So it was really cool and I really enjoyed that maze. Very gory and very Saw-like, um, of course. So that was really cool. Coming at number 9 is going to be Halloween number 1. Now Halloween number 1 is going to be the most memorable maze for me of all time because I'm a huge Michael Myers fan and for them to bring that whole movie to life was really cool. You get to walk through and try to have, <laughs> try to see Michael Myers killing you and killing other people and the most iconic scenes from the film. Uh, of course Michael Myers killing his sister to Michael Myers killing the, the guy, the boyfriend inside the kitchen and then tilting his head. Um, you got to see of course uh, Dr. Loomis shooting uh, Michael Myers. It was just a phenomenal scene and I really enjoyed it. Coming at number 8 is going to be American Werewolf in London. Now, I, as I mentioned in my facade video that the facade for this was phenomenal, but going inside and seeing a lot of the iconic scenes come to life from him getting attacked by a werewolf to um, the scene where he turns into a werewolf to the scene where we go into the movie theater and into the city where the werewolf is going uh, rapid and rampage. That was awesome. The wolves themselves look really cool. and. Um, the Nazi pigs coming in and shooting up the place was really cool. Uh, the scene where he's like possessed and stuff like that looks re it looked really awesome. But nonetheless, this maze was phenomenal and it was just a really great maze. Coming in at number seven is going to be Poltergeist. Poltergeist was really good. Um, they brought a, again they brought a lot of the iconic scenes to life. Of course, the tree coming through the window, the clown, the uh, the skull head, the skull head with a long body. The scene where they show all the graves pop up out of nowhere, which was really cool, um, and a lot of other iconic scenes of, the, of course, the, the little girl touching the TV, the hand coming out of the TV. It was just really cool, and I really enjoyed myself with this. This is probably the most special effects heavy maze I've ever seen at the event. Even John Murdy said so himself, and I couldn't agree more. They did a really good job on the maze, and I really enjoyed it. Coming at number six is going to be Trick or Treat. Now, Trick or Treat very much exceeded my expectations. Going through it, you got to see a lot of the iconic scenes from, of course, the beginning sequence where we see um, the lady get killed and hung up with the white sheets. But hers, is, of course, is all bloody and she's got the lollipop in her mouth to the principal killing the kid, the fat kid, uh, always check your candy and stuff like that, to the werewolf scene where they're having the big party and stuff and the werewolves kill the guys. And the query scene of the kids who uh, suffered the bus crash, but whose spirits still remain on the bottom, to the very last scene where we go to the bus driver's house and we see Sam versus the bus driver and the kids at the very end. Such a fantastic maze, and I'm very glad they did a very good job on it. I hope they make a trick or treat too one day, and I hope that if they do, that becomes a maze. So, very much looking forward to that and hope it does come in the near future. Number five is going to go to The Exorcist. Now, The Exorcist was a really good and iconic maze. You got to see a lot of the infamous scenes from the maze. Of course, it only takes place in one room throughout the entire movie. It was much the same with the maze. So there was a lot of black walls, but a lot of those black walls were filled with Pazuzu and uh, Reagan and stuff like that. There was a lot of jump scares in those black walls too of the two demons and uh, Reagan. But nonetheless, they brought a lot of the iconic scenes to life from the spider walk to uh, um, the, you know, the actual exorcism scene. The scene where she floats up and stuff like that, and uh, of course the iconic beginning of the statue that they find. They brought a lot of those scenes to life and it really scared the hell out of me. One of the mazes that actually still scares the hell out of me to this day, so 
That was a good job. They did a really good job, and I really thought it was good. Coming in at number four is going to be The Shining. Now, last year I went on a Shining binge, and that was probably one of my all-time favorite horror movies, and it still is to this day. But The Shining, they brought a lot of, like I said, with uh, a lot of these maids on the list. They, they always bring a lot of the iconic scenes of life, um, from the door scene where he axes down the door, to um, all work and no play make Jack a dull boy, to, of course, the scene where he uh, hugs the naked lady, and, of course, the, uh, the last... Uh, ending sequence of him going through the hedgehog maze and freezing to death. That was all really cool and I'm glad they brought that to life. Nonetheless, you can't forget about the scene of the elevator and the blood and stuff like that. That was really cool. Coming in at number three is going to be Black Sabbath 3D. Now, I'm a huge heavy metal fan and I've said that in the last uh, maze update video. I love heavy metal. Black Sabbath is one of the most iconic heavy metal bands of all time. Why? Because they created the genre and uh, I was fortunate enough to see them on their farewell tour. So going through this maze um, was awesome. Just seeing a lot of their songs come to life was cool. Iron Man, War Pigs, Black Sabbath, uh, NIB, Electric Funeral, a lot of other songs that came to life, Sweet Leaf and all that. That was really cool to see and I really enjoyed myself. And they just did a phenomenal job with the 3D and stuff like that. So definitely love music mazes and that's why I was excited for Universal Monsters. Coming at number two on my list is going to be Stranger Things. Now, Stranger Things exceeded my expectations. It was one of the best mazes of the event this year. It was neck and neck with Universal Monsters, but nonetheless, Stranger Things was awesome. It brought a lot of the iconic scenes to life from, of course, Will's house when they have all the lights up with the lettering. Um, a lot of the Demogorgons were really cool. The school scene where Eleven fights one of the Demogorgons. Um, uh, Hawkins Laboratory where we see uh, we go inside the Upside Down. Very fun maze to go through, awesome scares, very well put together, and I really much enjoyed myself. And last but not least, coming in at number one, Universal Classic Monsters, music by Slash. Very much enjoyed this maze from the very start to very finish. Um, I'm talking about the start when you go to the graveyard, the finish, and the Monsters Masquerade Scare Zone, and it was just awesome. The graveyard scene was really cool, and as you go through the maze, you get to see a lot of the iconic movie monsters from the Invisible Man to Frankenstein. Dracula, the Wolfman, Phantom of the Opera, the Mummy, Hunchback of Notre Dame, all these iconic characters coming to life and making them more sinister. Such a freaking awesome maze. I think that should be a year-round attraction all the time. It makes me miss House of Horrors. That is going to do it for my maze list updated of 2018 Part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed that list and I I just, it was just such a, a good year this year. Um, 7.5 out of 10, like I said in my uh, HHN 2018 review. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be part of the Madhouse and join the Knights. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Knights of Horror, Instagram at the Knights of Horror, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.